trouble, are we? Paid up to that good. Thought as much. Revelio. Here's actually correct anyway. Rebellio. Now. Well, you know, a little bit of Rebellion. Uh, what about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. <laughs> Bye, ah, There you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard mm. as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's Potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Yeah, I'd rather be with the Gryffindor. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. 
best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Oh. Neat. Rebellion. But it does not appear to actually, you know, do anything. At least not yet, I guess. I actually like those. Yeah. Man, it's just a weird thing. I don't, I don't want that. Well, I don't even like the skulls on this outfit, but I do like the appearance of it. I'll have to find something like it later. Kitty, must pat cat. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Reparo? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Must be around here somewhere. Oh, you turn up 
Pius. Hmm? Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Oak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Cubs of Cubstones. There's only six of them. Yeah, that's not too bad. I, oh, you, yeah, I, I see you. <laughs> Let me <listen. sighs> Oh, I missed. Rock spell. <sighs> Bloody nuisance of a page. There you are. Bring me you. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It Repair. allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a duty never thought it too accurate and lashed out. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Hello. Let me also. Wrong one. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. You? Rarity from Kitty. I will pet you.
wish we didn't have to use the dagger. I don't want to hear these conversations that they keep going away. I still have an unlocked lock picking. Or, you know, Aloha Mora. Yeah, that there are varying levels of Aloha Mora is interesting to me. what that means. And I'm sure I'll find out at some point. Rebellion. That's what I'm trying to do. Akio. E. For the astronomy exam in the library. Might be better off outdoors where we can see the stars. At least you didn't do what that first year did. Spent hours collecting dickeny only to find it was all weed. <laughs> Pocket is an enigma. It's a potions class, isn't it? Professor seems to have a limp. You're brave, though, aren't you? Monday. On another adventure, are we? Akio. Oop, not what I wanted to do. Akio. There's something in there. I just know it. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. It is nearby. I was just there. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Oh, that could be special about it. Uh, 
Levioso. Repel. Nope. I don't think I know what the spell is. Revelio. I see it. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. I wish I was a method maker. Imagine being able to change your eye color depending on your mood. Lumos. Oh. Uh -huh. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Okay. Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Ooh. Pass. Intriguing, but pass. Relationship quest. I suppose dating would be a thing in this game, wouldn't it? Ah, another telly. You Ooh. can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Closing the forbidden section. Fair. I really should get on with my quest. I was stop faffing about exploring. Oh dear, I shall get in trouble for this. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I 
I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Got it. Only four more to go. Akio! Revelio. Lumos. You bear. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness oh, some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Where's 
has many secrets. Rebellion. Nice to see you, my young friend. Spider with hat? Legendary, too. <laughs> Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. <clears throat> I tend I to wear a hat like this in real life. That's why I wanted this hat so much. Really? Is this yes, kind of is I how I dress if I had the choice. I quite like this hat. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Yeah, no, I'm really enjoying it. Rebellion. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Revelio. Ozzy's worst nightmare, flowers that quack. Look, from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Hmm. Do you think Poppy 
Ellie's already seen the hippogriffs. Absolutely. Likely already named them, too. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off-limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off-limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think they're calling it Seems forbidden. Seems like there's going to be no Hagrid, which kind of makes me sad. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Oh, I suppose it's fair. His voice actor's dead. I would spend all of my time oh, exploring if I could. Dead. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. Oh, she knows way. more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Still, though, I feel like... Learning I'll about magical beasts is not the, not I the same the without Hagrid. That followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite the a bit. The teachers I've met so far, Hogwarts though. has become something of a home now, I would say. Dark ass, Hopefully dark ass, dark too. arts teachers, definitely sassy. Kitty. Must pet kitty. Hello, kitty. Yeah, map is certainly something, but I mean, it is Hogwarts. I do wish people would clean up Mr. Moon! Yeah. Looks a bit worse. Than no, 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 I will never attack Kitty. No. Only thing I'll do to a Kitty is cast Accio so I can pet it even sooner. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything alright, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dougley and Arian, mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon, a Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I never seen him Nearly there. Nothing there like is much mining to with see magic. outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. Get it. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter. Sorry, Natty, the cat is more important. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Duke's. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Huh? Revelio. <laughs> that is fair. A lot of locked doors. A lot of locked doors. That's three in a row. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Oh, 
It's literally just a piece of paper. There we go. Clean it up a little bit. Of flutes and loots. Hmm. I like a little bit of gardening. Rebellion. healing. and bangs. How do I interact with the shop? Do I have to get much closer to him? No? Wrecked robe. White room. It's a better room. Still not quite sure I like the appearance though. I like not having a robe on. Spot of tea. Do not seem to be able to interact with you. I guess I can't interact with shops quite yet. Except the ones I probably need to go to. So I suppose I should focus on that and then explore. How do you do? That's three broomsticks. Um, it's good to know, but not where I'm looking right now. Listen, man. I'm British, I gotta drink the tea. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Song goes. Rebellion! Accurate! I think we'll get to Fred and George's on the grounds that they don't exist. Bewildering can of mystery. Um, yeah. That was a mystery. Don't push. Oh, come on. You can't do that. Fair enough. 
horribly distracted. Tree bloom sticks and Pippin's potions. Yeah, that's a lock. Well, guess we start with potions. Welcome to J. Pippin's potions. I like the way you do it. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this I love your is accent. J. Pippin's potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student yes, she's in the that. owl about. You still I set have your things 25 minutes. immediately. I suspect that if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Why you don't start calling me Hiccup? Iron skin potion and healing potion. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or oh. come back another time if you're in I'm a rush today. I'm broke. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, I'm getting an idea of how the economy works. Bugger in hell. I am certainly not Harry Potter. Catch a bit. And clearly I'm no potter as I am a broke bastard. Hmm? Rebellion. Heard something behind me. What in the hell is that? God, I make such a mess. Just run and drink and eat everyone's sight. <laughs> Jump. Oh, one of you. Yeah, I know I can't open you. Lumos. I can't say I know where that is. The wager it's somewhere nearby though. My out. Rebellion. I'm gonna give her a bloody penny now. Oh, is that just the sun locks make? Resource indeed, your field guide. 
Another one. This. It's over here somewhere. What on earth are you? They're not quite a chicken and not quite a turkey. Interesting. I'll wage that moss around here somewhere. Revelio. I don't even know if Revelio reveals the moths or not. That is a fedora. I don't actually pay that what I'm using too. I'm not gonna wear it. I'll wear it for the stats, but give me my hat. <laughs> I'll pretty much always be just going give me my hat. Horribly getting distracted, though. Revelio. Oh, it does reveal moss. Hello, moss. Revelio. You belong over here. That sounded like a puppy. Loots and loots. Holy vendors. Owl. Holy vendors. Focus. Merlin. Blooming beard. Not again. Ah, still sounds like holy vendor. I'll be right with. Ah, it's that does you. not look like holy vendor. Um, just a bold holy vendor. That did not sound gracious. I'm looking for, for a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm. Uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Ooh. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Nope. Nope. Maybe not. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. Dragon heart string. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, Dragons don't like me. 
This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, Grabbing the green boxes. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. That's another green box. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, you can customize your wand? I, I appreciate that. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Oh, is that how dark the lines are? How intriguing. No. Okay. It's just what it's out of. Curious indeed. So it just lets me choose my own tree. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Dragon Heartstring Wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Hmm, a unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. Ah, Phoenix Feather, exceptionally rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative. Curious indeed. How intriguing. What do you think? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Revelio. I have my own wand now.
No, Roland, shut up. Come on, man. It's <sighs> wonderful. Hog's head, Zonko's. Oh, get out of fucking aim mode. Stop that. It's Ollivander's. That's Shady Bloom. I should have looked at the entrance. No, that was three broomsticks. I've eaten there. I don't want to use the map to find the last two. Tomes and scrolls and magic neat. Yes, all the books. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. Oh. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course Just it is not without Blasphemy as far as alchemy is concerned. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. As much as I'd love to, I can't afford any of that. I'm broke. Unless you'd consider, you know, a loan. Rebellion. Oh, is this? That's Cattle Caradon's Cauldron. I need Magical Neep. Now that I don't really know what I'm looking for. I guess I just best keep my eye out. Probably infuriate anyone who just wants to see content. But. Gotta explore this kind of stuff. I'm. Not a very good jumper, though. I wish I paid more attention. Hello. Oh, come in! Come in! Welcome to Madam Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly! Why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry, and I'm here thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. 
But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. What services do you offer? What is it you might be interested in? I mean, I honestly can't imagine anything I'd change. This is already the perfect hairstyle. Complexion. I didn't really look at that. Is there a way to make me even look even more pasty? Scars and marks. I'm actually proud of them for not putting a lightning bolt scar. Very proud of them for not doing that. Oh, that's the hair salon. I don't want to be a Walk. The quill shaft. Post office. It's a lot of owls. Honey dupes. Fast travel. Well, I mean, not necessarily true. If I can find Olivanders, or not Olivanders, uh. There's a shop, though, that has. There's these treasure chests that have eyes on them, and if you get too close to them, they'll seal up because they can see you. So, I mean. They're mimics, they're just not out to eat me. Yet. here again. What if it says I can't interact with the store though? Ah, clothing. Alright, bugger. Where am I looking, looking here? Needs? Sporting needs? Pulp visions? Glad rags? Ow. Yeah, it's way out there. I wouldn't have found that. Yep. 
ingredients I can pilfer from outside. I could have sworn I heard it sounded like a puppy. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts as a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Revelio. Accio. There you go. Already level seven before doing anything. Shortcut. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. straight to the heart of town. And something just wouldn't really work out for uh Oh, broke kill. Are we weak in him at all? Aha, lock on. Thank you.
goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Oh, yeah. Singer. I'm just repairing. Officer Singer. And thank you. That we can just again. repair anything that breaks. <laughs> repair. I will see what he wants. Yeah, no, do that. I need to fix it for him. I just kind of broke. Taking responsibility for the battlefield, though. I can appreciate that. Last thing for Officer Singer to worry about. I mean, hey, but at least, you know, doing the right thing and, you know, repairing the problem. So many games okay. you just walk away from the mess you made. I mean, they threw half the freaking plaza at that troll. Oh, jeez. And this whole building. That wasn't my fault, though. Oh yeah, companion, you buggered up. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, hello, I saw you. Come back into view. Gotcha. Repel. We were just talking about you. Augustus Hill. That name sounds familiar. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. That's very kind of you, Mr. Hill, but I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. <laughs> Nonsense! I insist! Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. No. Take your time. This is what I'm wearing. Uh, it's free. Yes, I am. Trust me, I'm. I'm aware. But it's worse than what I'm wearing. What's this though? A druid wolf cape. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I can afford it. Ooh, but that's pretty too. Oh, that's much more my color. I sold some things. Robe's much more my style, too. But we are 100% getting that cloak. That's pretty. What 
an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. As soon as I've donned my hero cape. Just set it a robe. Lovely, because I don't like wearing robes. I will need to remove that scarf, though, because that does seem to obstruct it just a wee bit. Battle-worthy items, should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Revelio. Action. With a spot of tea. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. Cape. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> What time, then? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. 
Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Rebellion. As soon as we walk out the door, though, I'm starting to think I should have brought the Slytherin boy. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Just teleporter straight into my bed, huh? Oh, wow. Lumos. Oh, that was not a special one. What are you up to now? Yes, that's fair. I probably would break my freaking legs on the way down. I wish I knew what this was. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Which likely implies that there's one nearby. See what this is, though. Oh, it's another one of these. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know any of this crap is. Alright. Carrying on. Alright. I was going the right way. It had a path for me. Ooh, and I found something important to know. Revelio. On another adventure, are we? Rebellion. Yeah, I kind of figured. Ah, they described Nessie as a Kelpie. Intriguing. Exactly do you teach? Can't quite tell just by looking. Revelio. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade, with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say, after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription 
When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. There Once you've honed your defensive so. magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Revelio. to say it's headmaster doesn't seem like all that nice of a guy kind of a dick rebellion oops sorry you can't imagine how inconvenient travel was oh, before yeah, I invented yeah, man, I'm trash. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Yeah. Meet me back here if you find anything. I wasn't gonna say anything, but yeah. Hmm. How nice to see you, my young friend. Dutch, yeah, Arthur. Kitty. Portraits in the castle don't always have something interesting to say, but many of them do chatter on nonetheless. Oh, right. Speaking of cats, I should go feed mine. I'll be right back. Oh. Stretch. <laughs>
hope you're around if trolls ever come about me. Where is it? No, there it is. It was away from the system. I had to go feed the cats. I'm also attempting to feed myself. There's a couple kitties in here. I didn't pet this kitty. History of magic. How did you know? By the disappointed look on Vince's face every time he sees you. I think you're breaking his heart. That's far too much responsibility for one person to bear. Besides, I'm sure you're oh. warming his heart. When you stood up and answered his question on the werewolf code of conduct, I swear he shed a tear. I don't want to There are so many cats. Find anything yet? She's never been the same since. I was a bit surprised. Answering garlic that could be one thing, but how in? You're lucky you made it out alive. You'll simply Are you guys changing appearances or something? Yes, lesson officially learned. Oh, meant to ask, can I copy your herbology notes about privet? There was literally one thing she said about it. How could you not note it down? I was working on history of magic. In herbology. Fine, but be forewarned, I may need you a picture of a bush. Patrick you aren't bothering your sister, are you, cat? Considering he runs a shop as fun as Honeydukes. It must be difficult to live in those remote hamlets with the Ashwinders running about. I hear Upper Hogsfield is lovely. Or was it Lower Hogsfield? Well, both Hogsfields. I wish I was an animagus that could fly, a raven or an owl, then I wouldn't need my own broom. I want to play Quidditch professionally when I'm older. I'd make a marvelous chaser. I hope I'm wealthy enough one day to buy every broom model at Spintwitches. How in the world did people ride broomsticks before the invention of the cushioning charm? No better feeling than the wind in your hair as you fly above the world on a broom. I don't like flying on a broom. 
I prefer the safety of a Thestral drawn carriage. Nothing wrong with that. My sister organized Quidditch practice all summer to prepare for this year. She was most upset when it was cancelled. I'd be glad if they let us convene at the Three Broomsticks instead. I suspect most Slytherins would prefer not to be in a dungeon myself. Yes, but if we had a round of gobstones in the common room, it'd save us catching cold outside. I heard that someone cast the Confundus charm on a Ravenclaw Fortier so they couldn't answer the riddle. I like sitting around the fire in the common room after a long day, especially if we've had potions, much cosier than the Great Hall. Sometimes the Prefect sits next to me. Well, one time they did, in the common room. Mind you, it was the only seat left. And I did ask them. All right, I'm finally back. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Oh. Revelio. A locked door. I haven't been like collecting rewards. Hmm. Much better. Or my style. Okay, so it's Rhino Skeleton that was the first clue. I can't remember where that was though. Revelio. What are you up to now? I'm exploring. My uncle knows Kagawa, so I can't. somewhere. Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. I don't remember what the other one was.
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Oof. Is everything all right? Yes, I'm sorry. A I'm bit. Just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumour is that a former headmistress, Professor Mong, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task. You may find a reward. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, oh, I've tried. And I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. Cat. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Why, when I go to Gringotts, do I get some sniveling wizard telling oh. me you frittered away half our fortune on the sweets trolley? Are you trying to bankrupt us? Put it on my mother's account, you say. Well, no more. I am cutting you off. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I gotta love the howlers. You haven't been down to the boat house since arriving in the first year. Perhaps I'll pay a visit. It's a relief to finally have. Stairwell going up. As to why that portrait was empty. I can't believe that. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's yeah, gobstones. I don't this stairwell looks promising. Do you find yourself taking uh, sorting hat. <clears throat> now you can answer the questions and get sorted into your get sorted, or you can choose your own. But I chose to just stick with the one I got sorted into. Looks like the portrait from the map. And where's the treasure? Where, bruh, bruh, treasure, or not? Revelio. Love you. Revelio. Huh. Huh. Ah, 
There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. Clever. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. I like to keep a bit of Oh, hello. Wrong one. Lumos. Spooky down here. But I also suspect that probably not a Sphinx down here. I likely went a wee too far. We'll see. Would hardly surprise me though. Hello. But where's that moth? Hmm, further down's an option, but didn't I go up a bunch of stairs? Yeah, because further down's just the spooky room. As long as I get some sleep, I don't mind what anyone gets up to. Oh, they're shears. Okay, I was like, what is this? What is jumping through the bushes? Lumos. I miss playing gobstones on the kitchen floor. What have you learned? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky. Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting.
mean, to be fair, I think that clothing was better than what I'm using. Oh! Take a quick gander. No, no, it is substantially worse. <laughs> That's a rugged rope. That's actually not the authentic historian's outfit, then. Is it just a cosmetic? Oh, it looks like it's just a cosmetic. Ooh, it is nice looking. But I'd like my rope, my cloak, thank you. Get yeah, touche. Resource indeed, your field guide. Yeah, 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 I know. Push. I get why I can't jump off, you know, with Hogwarts. That could be quite the fall, but at the same time, like, eh. Oh. Revelio. <laughs> repair of my legs. I'm somehow not certain that would work. <laughs> Rebellion. Those I think become nice. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Ah. It seems wants Cross to Wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Off on another adventure, are we? Oh, it's just you. Crossover? What is? Oh, yeah, that's not new. That's been going on for a little while now. Oh, yeah. I think Smite's always been free, though. It's a free game. 
It's like League, you don't have to pay for it. Hmm, it is nighttime. Oh, the DLC pack. The God pack? from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim, did you praxia mole? As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory, not for the meek. Please, Peas, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed, as did his containment job. So I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges, be handsome indeed. Or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed to draw up a contract with Revelio. I behave like a Lumos. Levioso. Leave me be! Hmm. Well, time to go beat up some newbie wizards. Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. Levy also! <laughs> Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels, crossed ones, a dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists. And whoever is still standing in the end, wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Yes, don't count me out yet. Brilliant! Just need to get used to blocking. Yeah, I, I, I know, tutorial. There we go. Oh, shit. Okay. 
One dealt with. Now that's a combo. Nope. Absolutely not. Get wamboed. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second jewel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Revelio. <laughs> Next time you need a partner for Cross Swans, don't hesitate to call on me. Glad you're back. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. You'll get it! Accurate. What was it about to teach me? It's about to teach me the combo I was using, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, but it, oh, it, want, it doesn't want to make it the fourth off. Could do the fourth. Leviosa, one, two, three. That's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Natty. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. That's a tree on one, or a tree on two, I guess. Ah, all right, noted. So. Oh. Shit, wrong button. I can heal during this. That's not very fair. No. Ow. 
Ow. Any deal? No. No. I can reflect that. That's good to know. Better at it, though. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you Probably. want a chance of winning, <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Assignment's all finished. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Yeah, for what's actually gonna use the freaking fast travel too. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. work. Feel free to practice in the classroom before you go. I've set up a few targets for you. Oh, Incendium.
spare a moment? I could use your help. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor yeah. Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. They're adorable. Why would you be afraid of a puff scheme? They no. seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. I call me curious. I'm a biology yet, anyway. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. You know, I can't say I've ever heard of it personally. Maybe Mom has. Never really asked her. She's asleep right now, though. That is cool. Revelio. Hello, Paige. I see you. Get over here. Incendio. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. this one. Lumos. Ah. Oh, okay. Walk slowly. Got it. Incendio. <laughs> uh. 
Lumos. Back off. God, there was snare everywhere. Huh. No. No. Get the option. Seems the devil's was protecting a chest of some kind. Incendio. Lumos. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Incendio. Lumos. Honestly, expected that to try to take a bite out of me. Incendio. Don't keep the entrance safe. The runic robe. Alright, have a good day at work, bud. I might just rock that. It looks nice. These I will equip for stats and immediately change their appearance because no. I wonder if there's a setting for that. Ocean blur off. No one wants that. Revelio. What are you up to now?
Have you found anything to, uh, prove my bravery yet? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff Scheme Dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more Puff Scheme Dunking for me. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hackett. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Seems he's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. 
Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. I shall pretend I cannot see you. still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Is someone there? The library's closed until morning. Must have been one of... Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? The key. Here it is. That wasn't so difficult after all. Now to find that book. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tone by its cover, I say. Revenio.
should be in the clip. Need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Brain to Mongos. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. I'll be quieter than a job or not. Darkest arts. I'm impressed. Revelio. shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you... I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. I am not a dark witcher yet now. I have been good. Wait, so I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Ooh. Yes, I quite like that. Actually. Yeah, that's better than what I was wearing. Still looks terrible, so it's still going to get hidden. I think I want my cloak back. Mm, never mind, don't want my cloak back. to this room. Where 
might this lead? I am enjoying it though, it is a lot of fun so far. Combat's quite satisfying. over here I guess not surprising cards at the ready gentlemen to negotiate. Um, okay, didn't realize it was timed. Understandable. Run, 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 run. Cheeky. This must be the way forward, but to where?
Wrong one. Oh, I can't mess with gear at the moment. That's a lot of enemies. Yeet. Ooh, hi. Cheeky. Used to the combat in this game, though. It is a book after all. But yeah, the chopping the other guy's head off with his own axe was cool. Oh, hey. Uh, give me like 10 seconds. Yeah, I can't pause the cutscene.
All right, we're back. What? I haven't. They're. I didn't feed them till three thirty. They're kind of behind. Or their schedule's messed up. Wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad, especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? Hmm. 
Incendio. Oh, just not a bad zone anymore? Oh, these aren't bad zones anymore. Lumos. There you are. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. the restricted section but how thinking on it perhaps it's best you spare me the details fair enough in fact the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map I want to hear everything first let's have a look Pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful. It may take some time. I wonder why it was here. 
below Hogwarts? I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. of all the cats I keep seeing in my game. Hmm. Let me feed you now before I forget. That's a bit silly looking. Honestly, I think I might do without the hat entirely for a little while. Oops. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. 
off on another adventure, are we? Dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of Crossed Ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Final round already? Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Well, map is pretty damn sub substantial. Wow. Not that I'm opposed to that. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented Uber. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Alright, I do not need visibility. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. You didn't quite keep up with my bad impresses. Damn. Oops. 
I take to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. Other duelists had better beware. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Cross Wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Now there are four. I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Hmm. You know, I don't mind that. Yeah. I think put it back with the green cloak, I'm thinking.
The best duelist won, I suppose. Rebellion. You can't be B, can you? One. Lost to a new student. Hmm, I didn't see that coming. Shame it's over. I was just getting started. Incendio. Huh. Oh dear. Not sure what kind of look you call that. Excuse you. Rebellion. In trouble, are we? Paid up to that good. Thought as much. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. What are you up to now? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones.
incendiary. Growing pungent onion again. Protego. Revelio. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, mm -hmm. Um... Uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello! Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Was it better than the muffs? Everyone, grip the mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair! Yeah, <laughs> repair might be in order. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our hmm. next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like not growing. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I'll say. I nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy, or roses? Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wigan Health Potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well 
done. Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good Wait, chomping. Am I getting yes, Professor. bitey grenades? It's just at the end of the footbridge leading that out sounds to suspiciously room. like a bitey grenade. Mr. Pruitt has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just yeah, mind your that, uh... I almost lost a thumb once. Don't worry, Nurse Blaney put it back on. Trust me, you do not want to go through that. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. That is... That is a fighty grenade. Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the deep Accu here. They left her honking daffodils in tatters. Let me also. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone. But, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're, uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants, too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we, uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. I appreciate biting. Didn't need leaves, will definitely not go miss. why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. There's plenty of dragon dung in case you run out. Feel free to plunge right in. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. I do wonder about Professor... I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a... Bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. 
Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Hope those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damn hearing. <laughs> Handy resources. Revelio. My family and I travel from my every time. Shouldn't there be auras or There's someone from the ministry else, guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Yeah, it's definitely not a popular one. Potion tap. He's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Point for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Efficiency and potions are two things that cannot be rushed. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after... Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. 
I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single foop of feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fwoopa Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwoopa Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Keep your potion stations organized and create fire. should not be that color, Mr. Dowell. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Should you chop the Didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. <laughs> And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it. Oh. Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weebly? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learnt a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us... Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an aura. I wish he talked about it more. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. <sighs> Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. 
Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Oh, don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. That is locked. Back the last time I have my young idea that I don't write down. Library. Library. And someone failing at walking past a chair. Cool. Oh, bugger me, I'm tired. Two hours is probably not a sufficient amount of sleep. Revelio. No, okay. I don't think I ever went this way. Send Eh. Worth a shot. Rebellion. Lumos. Hello. Man, you. Yeah, I don't know what these doors are. 
I'm sure at some point it'll get explained to me. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, yeah. Accio. Yeah. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Rebellion. Oh, mum. Bad. Uh, oh, okay. Is that nearly headless? I think it is nearly headless. Oh, yeah, I know exactly where I am now. I've been over here recently. On another adventure, are we?
and we're back. Apologies. Oh, it got dark while I was gone. I guess the first question of the day. Fall damage? Uh, it doesn't seem like there's fall damage. Okay, let's get somewhere higher. That was a pretty substantial fall. hurts. Yes. There's fall damage. Okay. Retry. Water safe, right though? I rim my way down things. Whoa. Whoa. 
Come up. Nope. Ow. Rebellion. How inconvenient travel was before I Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I should investigate.
Revelio. right out of a storybook. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello, I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I'll have no trouble selling less. Yes, he Thank does. You. He sounds horribly familiar. I think that is. I think that might be what it is. Is the lander? I hope to see you again sometime. Lander was the voice of more of things sure. as well. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Well, oh, door's locked. Fair. Yeah. Oh. No, but not gonna. Oh, okay. You know, not gonna like that. That's a spider. That's a really creepy spider. Here you go. <laughs> Background. There's a victory that came none too soon. Hit a flaming <sighs> spider to blow it up? Excuse me? <laughs> I need to find another spider. I need to see what happens when you hit a burning spider. Why are the spiders explosive? Yeah. 
Challenges and fights. What the hell are these? Yes, it does. All these people are saying this game is not that great and it looks terrible, blah blah blah. It looks pretty fucking nice. Definitely one of the best looking Harry Potter games we have ever seen. They burrow. I did not get the dueling feet though, because I don't think I ever saw anything to deflect. Ah, that's bad. Done. Where'd the other spider go? Oh! <laughs> I shrunk it and then squished it. <laughs> I can appreciate it. Literally not see you. Carry on. I'm always given the dull tasks. It spooked you? It caught me off guard. I'm like, oh, um, hi. Wolf. I don't like killing wolves. Just two enemies airborne for five seconds. Suppose that's doable. Just the two of you. Why there's such a fuss over poaching? There's enough beast flesh for everyone. Man. Oh, fuck this. Pass the road. I'm on the right track. Afraid. Now. Not sure how I'm doing. Let me The beasts are safer now.
Revelio. Incendio. Probably need the bomb blasty spell, which I don't have. Hi, you are big. There you go. Oh, you also didn't care. Oh, can't block that. Got it. Got it. Ow. Fuck off. No. Ooh. You were a very big spider. Uh, Nova's gonna have a bad time when that comes around. Spider Slayer Armor? Pardon? Can I walk around in armor? I can walk around in armor. You know what? Let's, let's do it. Let's go. Let's just run around in armor. <laughs> It's Dark Souls. <laughs> I plan to. <laughs> this isn't coming off for a little while, though. I need to change my outfit. So apparently that's... Yeah, there we go. So it's not clipping. But yeah. <laughs> Why is this a thing? Probably should equip a scarf, I guess. So I can at least, you know, have something. Yeah, that looks nice. <laughs> Why is... I, I, I kind of question the armor thing a little bit. Who lived here, I wonder? Rebellion. A wizard with a... Or a, or a knight with a wand. Incendio. Oh, hello. Rude. God damn it, I keep pressing the wrong button for block. Get out of here. Bing. I thought there were two. Well, the other one's on the other side of the wall. But I definitely don't use that ladder. This wasn't even the camp. This was just like a side thing I could have done. And I mean, I guess I did do it. Killing these, I'm not going to. Rebellion. Hmm. Must not know how to get there yet. I'll figure it out at some point. Moonstone, nope. Goblins. Oh, this day has gone on too long. Or you can't be Trificus Totalis anything yet. 
Fights. Boop. Ooh, what the hell? your ways uh, that was pretty much a be gone thought getting better at this parrying though more challenges combat wait can I I could make myself look like a bobby. <laughs> this won't take long. Yeet. Although, if this is literally the outfit to make me look like a bobby, I might be wearing this instead of the armor. No, not quite a bobby. I'm gonna stick with the armor. I don't think I have any. Well, that's better defense wise, but I do change it. But I don't think I have anything that would suit. Yeah, we'll just keep sticking to this. I appreciate they actually paid enough attention to the detail to actually make it sound like I'm wearing armor, too. An encampment. This must be it. Well, let's see what we're dealing with. Mm, those guys are melee. You are range. Let's see what you are range. Come here, you. You're slippery. Right. I won't rest until you're dead. Stupid. Have it back. Hey there. Okay. I will make have that many spells for it. You should know better than that by now. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. Hit a ranger with stupefy, perform a dueling combo? Wait, you mean a 30 hit? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I can do 30 hits without getting hit. Still do the ranger thing, and then we got a couple warriors. All right, hello, gentlemen. Hey, not quiet enough. 
You won't survive until you got friends. Could have gone better. I need to start remembering red versus orange. So. You've been paying attention in defense against the dark. I give you all that. I'm real nice and you can stop by. <laughs> what an unfortunate end for you. But there's a wise to burn this out longer than necessary. Do what? Oh, I think I know what I need to do. All right. You can't stop us. Fuck. your lesson yet. Oh, you're outside the arena. to enter. Boop, 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 boop. That was quite something. Now to 
free arms cards. Round two went a little better. I start to remember to use my plants. Silent Festival Garb, Lucent House Emblem Scarf. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to honor. Healing pot definitely won't go a mess. Hmm. I'm not even able to use that properly. Well, now that I think about it, we're still there, yeah, okay. See, uh, Nova should probably know that there are spiders in the game, considering, you know, the forest. If she's seen the movies, she should know. Return to iron, which means I just get to run. I don't have Petrificus Totalis, though. <laughs> Fuck, go to my way. Backwards. I don't have Petrificus Totalis, that's kind of not fair. I don't have it, right? Inventory. No, not inventory. Um, no, I know what it is. Oh, I do have Petrificus Totalis. Ow. Oh. Well, that's awkward.
Random thought, looks how were there three, two wolves among a entire herd of sheep and they were not even trying to fuck with the sheep? Uh. Huh, well this is definitely not reminiscent of anything. Rebellion. Levioso. Incendio. Accio. Yeah, I don't have a spell for that, I don't think. I think that's the last spell which I do not have quite yet. Yeah, I should probably collect you. On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What's a nice idea, Ron? I wish you luck with it. I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Yeah, I helped a go goblin friend. Wait. I just got the helmet to go with my outfit. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. Wizard souls. Right, I'd be happy to show you my wares. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this a thing? I'm practically in full plate. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Hi, friend. Don't mind my uh, attire. Good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. 
Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? Do -de do This doesn't look ridiculous at all. Do -de do They must have come this way. Think. Oh. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid! I shall kill you! Stupid! Oh, I probably should have saved it for you. Your eyes. <laughs> Never should have come here. You are a chicken. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy it. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this too. Fog. Ow, I need to pay attention a little bit better behind me. You, stop hitting me. Also, get juggled. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. And so close to Hogwarts. Ooh, that was thrilling. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. And Care defensive to tell armor. You are two Ashwinders <laughs> were ready to dispatch me to get to you. Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Who's Priya? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one oh. who piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioner. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Um, yes. But give me a second to finish what I'm doing. But you also know what time it is, right? Yes. Okay. No, I don't, but it doesn't matter. It, oh. It's not that long. Okay, yeah. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. 
Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he Wait, created you talk faster. them as a I don't have a ton of time. for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That yeah, started me thinking, too, lady, what I if have the Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Cool. I brought a I have to dip for a while. But I'll be back in about a couple hours.